Let's talk about the EMF induced by changing the orientation of the coil and AC generator. So here you got the rectangle coil P, Q, R and S which is of n turns and area A and placed in a uniform magnetic field B. The coil is rotated with an angular velocity of omega in the clockwise direction about an axis perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic field. Suppose initially the coil is in the vertical position, the angle between the normal to the plane of the coil and magnetic field is zero. After a time t, the, let theta be the angle through which the coil is rotated. If a phi is the flux linked with the coil at this instant, then the equation will become phi is equal to nBa cos theta. Replacing your theta with omega t, you will be getting phi is equal to nBa cos omega t. For the moving, the induced EMF is given by E is equal to minus d phi by dt is equal to minus nBa into d by dt of cos omega t. Since cos omega t is equal to omega dot sin t into sin omega t, you will be replacing it, you will be getting the induced EMF is E is equal to nBA omega into sin omega t. The maximum value of the induced EMF is given by sin omega t is 1, so n into a into b omega. Hence the induced EMF can be represented as E is equal to E naught into sin omega t. Over there you will be getting the maximum value of induced EMR. So the induced EMF varies sinusoidally with the time t and the frequency being v will be getting v is equal to omega by 2 pi. So, as you know, the equation is E is equal to E naught into sin omega t. When omega t is equal to 0, the plane of the coil is a perpendicular to the field and hence E is equal to 0 since sin theta, sin 0 degree is equal to 0. So, here sin 0 degree is equal to 0 will become E is equal to E naught into 0, that's 0. So, we don't have any induced EMF at omega t is equal to 0. If omega t is equal to 90 degree, you will be getting E is equal to E naught into sin 90 degree. Sin 90 degree is equal to 1. So, E is equal to E naught. Over here, if omega t is equal to 180 degree, the plane of the coil is rectangle, it's right angle. Over here, it's parallel. Over here, it's right angle. So, E equal to 0 since 180 degree. Sin 180 degree is 0. This is the equation you'll get. You are able to see it here. E is equal to 0 at angle of 0. E is equal to maximum value here at 90 degree. E is equal to 180, it's 0. So it should be in negative, it's maximum for 270 and it should be at 360, it's 0. Let's see. Over here, as I indicated, you got your omega t is equal to 270 degree. The plane of the coil is parallel and you will be getting the maximum value but it's in the negative. Sin 270 degree is minus 1. So, E naught into minus 1 equal to minus of E naught. Where at 360 degree it will become 0 because 2 pi. So, omega t is equal to 2 pi. That's sin 360 degree is 0 here. And hence, you will be getting E is equal to E naught into 0, which is equal to 0. If the ends of the coil are connected to an external circuit through a resistance R, the current flows through the circuit which is also a sinusoidal in nature. 